Yeah, I gotta make sure I put my tattoo in there, you know, because I'm tat 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 it up now, so. Bonjour, mon petits. It is I, the fabulous Trace, back with a new video. And in today's video, I'm so excited to do this because um, I was going to do a tutorial for it anyway. But uh, I posted a picture on Instagram, one of my dirty uh, bathroom mirror pictures that I'm infamous for, you know, because I love them things. But you guys were really feeling the style and asked for a tutorial. Some of you guys asked for a tutorial. So I said I was going to do it anyway. So like the head, head, go. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the, I guess we'll call it, a genie puff um extended puff i don't know i don't know exactly what to call it but this is the whole thing so you can see it i don't know it's cute though and you know me i'm all about keeping it cute so if you want to see how i achieve this style then make sure you stay tuned keep on watching and all that good stuff but before we even do that I'm going to need you to make sure that you have hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you are notified whenever I upload a video, which will be every Thursday approximately at around 4.30 p.m. Every Thursday I be dropping these videos, you know what I'm saying? So hit the subscribe button and since you are uh, clicking on things, follow me on Instagram too because that's where I be like 90% of the time, you know what I'm saying? It's lit or whatever. So yeah, now without further ado. Go watch me do my hair. So my hair is old. Um, and I am going to put it up because you guys have asked to see this style because I put a picture up on Instagram, one of my infamous dirty bathroom mirror pics, and y'all was like, um, what up with the tutorial though? So we're gonna get this tutorial cracking. So, first things first, we have to fleek our baby hers. And um, I mean, if you don't wanna fleek your baby hers, you don't have to fleek your baby hers, but that's the first thing I do. So that's what we gonna do. Oh, you know what, I need a mirror, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we're back with a mirror, and I am going to be using two products to do my edges. Um, I'm going to be using the um, Cream of Nature Argan Oil, and then I'm going to be using some Eco Styler Gel that I just put in this little blue container. Anyway, so first things first. Okay, so now that our edges are where we want them for the most part, you're going to take your crème hydratante du choix. Aujourd'hui, je vais utiliser uh, du l'eau. I'm going to use water today, and I'm just going to spray it in my hand um, just to get the product to distribute where I want it. Um, I can't find my styling cream, so we're not using that. We're going to use water. And just like every other ponytail, every puff, you've ever seen me do, we're going to gather all the hair up from the back and we're going to move it towards the front. And because this is a like genie type situation, you wanna make sure that it's like where, like placement is important. And so I'm gonna want mine closer to the front of my head. Yeah, that makes the most sense for me. So now you're going to grab a ponytail holder. And this part is pretty important because it, it kind of helps shape everything that you have going on. Now this one doesn't need to be that tight or anything because you're about to move it. It's not even gonna stay where you're putting it. And as you can see, this is why people like me don't do ponytails. Like ponytail, what, what, what? Why are we doing that? All right, so now we're gonna take this, we're gonna pull our hair up. All right, I gotta scooch down for this one for you guys. We're gonna take this and we're gonna slide it up to about the height that we want the puff or the, the ponytail to be. Yeah, that, that looks high enough. Yeah, that's high enough. I actually might want it lower than that. We'll see. 
So the next thing you're gonna do is grab another ponytail thing. If I can find it. All right, so you're gonna take another ponytail thing, and this is the actual ponytail that matters. So you want this one to be pretty tight. And again, remember, where you put it is very important to the style. Hopefully this thing does not break. Oh, child. I can't believe I did it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, you see how you got all these lumpity lumps and weird things going on? You're going to take the ponytail, and you're just going to start pulling it and getting all the hair to be flat because that's pretty important. You want the shape of it to be, you know, good. So this side is good. Oh, this side is not good. You see how this side is nice and good? This side ain't good. And then, all right, so it's still not good enough for me. So what you do when it's not good enough for you is you grab you some bobby pins. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to grab me these bobby pins, and you're going to put them uh, wrinkled side down. So you're going to put them in your hair wrinkled side down. Smooth up whatever it is that ain't, ain't, ain't functioning properly. And you're going to pin that down. And you can use the large bobby pins if you want, but I feel that the smaller ones work better because when your hair is thick like this, they're easier to mask. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're less, less detectable. And we're not trying to have our pins to be detected. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to have our pins. Oh my God, guys, I am so mad. I went on this whole rant about freaking, um, I went on this whole rant about tendrils or sideburns and I didn't have space on my freaking card. So I didn't know. So I have no idea, um, what you guys have heard or what you, what you missed or did not miss or whatever the case. So onward. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab a, uh, you know, the tie that I use to make my buns and stuff. So I'm going to grab that. Um, and you can use braiding hair for this. You can use like, you can use that pretty gold string for this, whatever. I'm not using that because I don't feel like it. And you're just going to wrap that around your, this is, I guess we'll call this the base. So you're going to wrap that around this part. And that makes it like, like stiff in one shape. And that's what we want. And now I'm just going to pull like some more of my hair like out of it because I want I want my puff to be a bit bigger so I'm just gonna pull some of that out of there and now I'm just gonna fluff my puff and if you want it higher you can just keep tying and make it higher but I don't want it higher and so yeah and of course you're going to take your uh, moisturizer your water and just mist it because again I think I've told you guys this before Misting it is what gives it that final shape and lets everything settle in. That way it's not, you see how it's kind of like see-through up here? Once you mist it and everything like settles in, then you won't have that see-through problem. Because everything will have curled up and like gotten into its place. If I've told you guys this once, I've told you a million times, Fluff and shake and shape and mold. Fluff and shake and shake and mold. All right, so if, if like you see how my, my sides are kind of like fuzzy or whatever, if that means something to you, then all you're gonna do is take a little bit of edge control, a little bit of gel, whatever, whatever. I'm gonna use my combination of edge control and gel. Um, and I just like to use edge control and gel because it um, gives more hold to the edge control and it allows the gel to not be um, crusty. I'm just going to slick that up. Slick that on up. 
Let me, a little, let me do a little slicking in the front too. Okay, so now you're going to take a scarf and um, I actually should not be using this kind of scarf, but whatever, because I don't really tie my hair down like that. So I'm just going to take a scarf and you're going to wrap it around your edges and your head and all that good stuff and tie everything down. The funny thing is, is that knowing me, this would be my hairstyle. But it's not today. We're not doing that today. Um, so while I'm going to wait for my hair to uh, get its life together, I'm just going to do my quick little like five minute makeup thing. All right, so I'm going to put on my earrings and get dressed, and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm dressed, and I'm going to take my scarf off, even though I really want to keep it on, because that's just me and what I do. All right, cool. Still a little fuzzy, but whatever. Okay, so for the last and final touch, I'm going to take these hair jewelry things, and I am going to just put a few on the front of sorry i'm gonna take these hair jewelry things and just put a, a few on the front of the um of the i don't know what you want to call this the stem is this a stem Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of another tutorial with treats. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It would be a nice little thing that you did for me. And while you're thumbsing things up and clicking on buttons and things, make sure you share this video. That's so freaking important for me. Please share the video. Get the word out that your girl is back. Speaking of getting the word out, we are on the fast track to 30K Mon Petites. And I am so excited. So in honor and celebration of it, if you saw my vlog uh, about my tattoo, then you already know that there is a giveaway going on for 30k and um, I'm giving away two BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to give away um, I think I'm gonna give away like two maybe three outfits from this haul that I'm doing next week I was gonna do it this week but that didn't happen so to enter the giveaway if you'd like to enter the giveaway make sure you are subscribed to this channel and make sure you are following me on Instagram at call me underscore treats and um and then i need you to comment on one of these videos one of my videos your insta username and 30k so that's it follow me here follow me there comment your insta username and 30k and we're all good questions comments concerns complaints drop them below and i will try my best to get back to you i try to get back to everybody if i don't get back to you you either said something stupid or i just missed your comment and i'm sorry um I think that's all there is to say. Oh, wait, forgot. I'm introducing a new segment called Chat with Tree Simone Petites. And in this week's segment, I would like to know how you guys feel about fake natural hair. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it below. Talk to your girl because I want to know a thing or two about a thing or two. So, uh, that's all there is to say. And there is no more except as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And I will catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>